What's up guys, it's so Sassiner Anthony and in today's video we're going to be replacing the radiator in my 99 Jeep Cherokee. Um, as you can see right here, it's leaking. Uh, been smelling cool the last couple days since it's been running again and uh, yeah. So, got a radiator laying in the back of the Jeep, back of the Jeep's a mess right now. But, we're going to start doing this and just slowly pick at it. So it'll probably take a day or two of doing this after work and stuff like that. Um, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and drain the coolant from the pet cock over here on the side of the radiator. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right, get. <laughs> so, you can see it. It's right there. What? All right, so as you can see, we have the pet cock right there. I'm just going to go ahead and spin it loose and let it start draining some coolant. Hopefully I can do this with one hand and not make a complete mess all over myself. Which it kind of seems like there's not even really any coolant in there. Oh, I know why. And, uh, open the Radiator. You're missing it. Such a mess. I hate draining coolant. But yeah, so we're gonna let this drain out. Also, lost the backing ball on the highway. Need to get another one of those. But. We're gonna go ahead and start doing that. And I need to get all this stuff loose to take this core support out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the air box, pull the overflow hose, pull the electric fan. Uh, I got a new one of these fan shrouds like two years ago. Need to find where it's at and put it in when everything goes back together. But yeah, let's go ahead and start getting this all torn apart. All right. So, remove the airbox, you know, two clips, and then whatever style clamp you got holding it on the throttle body. And then you got, I believe it's a 13 mil right there. And there's supposed to be two more over here. As you can see, I don't have that. So, we're just going to go ahead and pull that one. And then pull the electric fan, move the coolant uh, overflow tank hose back out of the way. Um, PCV off the box, off the lid, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get some tools and get this under there. Probably don't need to pull that part. It's gonna make it easier for future projects. Disconnect electric fan. Electric fan disconnected. Coolant overflow hose. So, oh, electric fan, had to cut zip ties loose, slides right out. I have a bunch of access there. Now, I believe the few things that are left are start taking the core support loose to get that fan shot out, which is probably going to have to get busted up because it's all fucked up anyways. Um, and then we have the quick disconnect down here, lower hose, and yeah, goodness. So let's go ahead and start taking this off and just kind of see what I don't even know what this 
seems. You're supposed to point that out. And what you're left with is a loose radiator. Yeah. I don't say so myself. Disconnect tranny line, uh, that tranny line, upper radiator hose, yeah. the AC condenser bracket. I believe they'll come out here. Alright guys, so it's like two days uh, later. Um, as you can see, I'm in work clothes and it's dark outside. But uh, last night I finished getting the transmission lines off of the old radiator, uh, getting it disconnected from the AC condenser, and I have it out. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next, and then we're going to start putting the new stuff back in. So as you can see right here, here's the old one and the new one. Uh, we need to transfer these over to here. Um, hopefully the nuts don't break. And then everything else looks right, so I think I'm good there. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, slowly work on getting this done. It got a little smushed being in the back of my Jeep. Um, kinda sucks. But should be better than this one that's currently leaking. So, you know, let's go ahead and get started. Like my, my workbench and my line up there. Good old Harbor Freight light coming in clutch. Let's go ahead and get these knocked out. All right, we got the mounting brackets swapped over onto the new one. 
gonna go ahead and pull all this tape change the light over here so I can see and let's go ahead and get the radiator set down in there I really wanted to do the steering box spacer while I had all this room but trying to make it to go wheeling on Saturday so we're going to get this all buttoned up and hopefully get it done and you guys will see that in a future video all right so um, there's some little rubber grommets down here they got to slide the AC condenser through if you have AC um, it's got to slide through and then there's some holes down there with a little rubber grommet there's some pegs on the bottom of the radiator um, they need to all go together and then I had to remove these brackets because the old one used to go like that but these ones just use the little clips right here stick out holds the radiator in there it's all good now now we can work on putting everything else back together so we'll throw like this upper radiator hose back on you know shit i lost that socket down in the battery tray so i'll have to get that but yeah you know radiator hoses transmission lines and then i need to take my core support to work and i need to get the bolts out of it so that way i can run zip ties for the fan shrouds or try and get the little j hook uh nuts um but probably gonna call it a night right here probably gonna slap the hoses on it and uh just kind of go from there and we'll pick this up probably tomorrow all right what's up guys so we're back as you can see jeep's here i just got back from work uh, I just finished up the last couple things at work. That way we can make sure to make it to our wheeling trip on Saturday. So I have a day to drive it and make sure I've got all the coolant bled out of it. Uh, might try and throw my front bumper back on. Just so that way it looks a little bit more normal. Um, maybe not. We'll see. But the next video you guys should be seeing is we're going to go do Old Flowers Road here in northern Colorado. Um, just outside of like Fort Collins area. And then, depending on how that goes, if my friends Ranger and the XJ do good, we are going to go ahead and maybe head up over to Kelly Flats. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys kind of finished project and we'll close the video out. All right, you can see all the bolts are back in it. I got new fan shroud in there. Electric fan's on and running right now. Just cool it down so that way I can touch it. Uh, just had to zip tie the fan shroud and the fan up like I always do. Um, I need to find the little J nut things or whatever for this. Um, and just need to kind of wash the engine bay off and honestly just give this thing a nice little wash. She's awfully dirty. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's kind of it. So. If you guys stuck around to the end, thanks for watching. If uh, you guys learned anything or you have any questions or tips and tricks for anybody else, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, we're on that road to a thousand subscribers, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Has been so Assassin or Anthony, and I'll see you guys later.